For this week's challenge, we've come to a setting that's sure to get our pulses racing to find out how well activity trackers monitor heart rates. For the tryout, we're going to be pitting the Garmin Vivo Sports against the Fitbit Alter HR. And a word of warning, if you're scared of creepy crawlies, look away now. The Garmin Tracker has a built-in heart rate monitor, which can be used to report on stress levels. This can be viewed on the device or via an app. It costs under £150. The Fitbit continuously tracks your heartbeat through a wristband and similarly it's compatible with both iPhone and Android phones. It'll set you back around £120. This challenge is just for fun and isn't related to our official witch tests, which take into account high and low intensity training. For our full reviews, visit witch.co.uk forward slash activity trackers. I'm wearing the Fitbit device and Grace has the Garmin. We're also wearing a professional heart rate monitor as a control to see how close each wearable gets to our actual heart rate in potentially stressful situations. As we come face to face with three of the flying, slithering and crawling residents of this exotic pet store. Okay, so for the first challenge, we've got an owl, which I'm really excited about meeting, not just any owl, a baby owl. Let's first just check what the activity trackers are comparing to with the medical uh, heartbeat monitor. So with my Fitbit, it currently says my heartbeat per minute is 92, and the medical um, pulse meter is saying 96. So my Garmin is saying 107, <laughs> and my medical tracker is saying 101. Okay, so less. Let's see how we get on with the first challenge. So, Paul, do join us with what you might be able to already hear, the sound of the baby owl oh. coming. Oh. Hello. Oh, you're hey. gorgeous. Hey. I'm a bit scared to touch you, but... Oh, oh I'm not sure if you so can hear, but it's making soft. really like, soft hooting noises. Ooh, you're trying to bite me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, gosh, you are Hi. very cute indeed. You're so soft. OK, so this should minus the nipping, relax us. My medical heart rate beat monitor is saying 92 beats per minute and the Fitbit is Hello. reading 92. So we're pretty even-ish, how's yours? So um, my medical tracker says 101 and the Garmin says 107. Ah, interesting. Mm. Okay, right, so that's a nice, soft, cuddly, really cute, but slightly nippy baby owl. So sweet. Paul, let's move on to the next challenge. Second challenge, not so cute. No. And just the thought of it, it's already got my heart rate spiking a little bit. So my Fitbit is currently recording a heartbeat of 95 beats per minute while the medical tracker is at 92. So my Garmin says 95 and the medical tracker says 98. Right, well, let's see how high it spikes when we bring on the next challenge. Paul, we're ready for you. Ooh, that tongue is out. Oh, no. I can't do it. I can't do this. I feel like you can't sort of talk to them in the same way, can you? Ooh, that's risen. So my medical tracker has currently got 125. The Fitbit's got 82. How's yours doing, Grace? Oh, that's too much. My medical tracker is 101. So I think it's gone down, actually. <laughs> and uh, the Garmin says 94. Mm. I'm not that scared, to be honest. I don't think I'd touch it, but... Do you know what? I actually would, is it? It's not gonna bite me or anything, is it? Mm. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh, that tongue is gross. Oh, it's not even like nice to touch it. Touch it. it feels like an old gross bag or something that like you <laughs> pick up and it just feels like... It can hear you, are. Raya. You're being Sorry. so insulting Sorry, to Sorry. it. You don't feel nice. <laughs> To move on to the third and final challenge. Oh, why? <laughs> Grace, I'm absolutely freaking out about this third and final challenge. My heart rate is spiking already. How are you feeling? I am. Um, I'm. I'm. I'm quietly nervous. So let's talk about where our activity trackers and official medical heart rate thingies are. Oh, I'm so scared. So the Garmin is saying um, 105 and the medical tracker has just jumped up to 111. Okay, okay. Maybe I am scared. So my Fitbit 
is currently saying 89 heartbeats a minute and the medical track is saying 92. Paul, we're ready whenever you are. Ooh. Mm, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. I can see it, maybe I don't even want to look at oh, it. Wow. Oh gosh, that is massive. That is absolutely wow. massive. Okay, so let's have a look at the trackers. Um, my medical tracker is currently uh, monitoring me at around 96, 97 heartbeats a minute. The Fitbit says I'm on 95. My medical tracker says 98 and the Garmin says 101. Okay, Grace, do you feel like you could carry, touch it, hold it, put it in your hands? I, I could maybe like touch its leg maybe with my little finger. Let's see. Oh, don't do it, don't do it. I touched it. What is it <laughs> I thought it was going to go. <gasps> oh my gosh, I've gone up to 111 on my medical tracker yeah. and 113 <laughs> on the Garmin. <laughs> Actually, just watching you do that, saw mine jump up to 108 on my medical tracker and 103 on my Fitbit. So a fair bit of variation between the two. Either way, my heart rate has spiked and I don't like being this close to the tarantula. Back in the studio. Phew. I am so glad to be away from all those scary animals. Apart from Aku, mm. Aku wasn't a scary animal. Oh, she was a cute she was owl. So lovely. So let's talk about the verdicts. Actually, talking of Aku, when it came to the devices uh, monitoring uh, our heartbeat per minute compared to the medical monitor, the Fitbit was actually the only one to get it spot on when we met Aku. Uh -huh. mm, better than the Garmin device. Yeah, the Garmin didn't get it spot on ever. However, the Fitbit underestimated uh, more than the Garmin device. And actually, when it came to monitoring those big spikes when we met some of the scarier animals, it did a, a not as good a job as the Garmin device. Actually, at one point, it had a 43 beat per minute difference. 43? So less of a spike difference with the Garmin device. Definitely. So ultimately, that 43 beats per minute difference and the amount the Fitbit understated our heart rate means the Garmin wearable is our winner. So do get in touch and let us know how you found your activity tracker monitors your heart rate in particularly stressful times. And do click subscribe for updates on our next Witch Challenge video.